Hey, oh, keep it high, keep it high. It's Jay Morse, the review guy, back to bring you another video. Welcome back to List Week. We're going strong, only two days left if you include this episode, and tomorrow is going to be gigantic. It's going to be a big video, that's all I can say. I feel like this is a music-related channel. It's a list I haven't done before, and I feel like you guys should be able to maybe, some of you should be able to guess what it's going to be. But until then, we still have one more to do before that big video. And it is going to be my top five favorite bands that get a lot of hate. So, meaning I listen to these bands, I love these bands, like these bands, despite the fact that they get a lot of hate surrounding them for one reason or, or another. And we're going to move this list along fast because it's kind of going to be self-explanatory. I've done reviews of most of these bands. Uh, and uh, some I haven't. I've done track reviews for some. There's quite a few I want to cover and have plans to cover, so by the duration of this channel, I will cover some of them, if not all of them. So, number five is going to be Icy Stars slash Palisades slash most electronic or bands, but the reason I put Icy Stars and Palisades at the forefront is because they're the two electronic or bands that I enjoy the most. I see Stars and Palisades, as well as Electronic or in general, gets a lot of hate because people don't think electronic music should be merged with metal. And as someone that really likes electronic music, maybe this, this is just a personal thing. Uh, I enjoy electronic music to have a genre that is combining metal music and electronic music. I think that is a good job. I think it's neat. I think it's cool. I think that it's done to a good effect. I think it's well made. And a lot of times the mixing's cool. And if you get cheesy ones, if you get weird ones, such as like, uh, what's it called? Um, Blood on the Dance Floor, I think that's the name. Yeah, those are kind of weird. Those are, those are corny. And I can understand their hate. But uh, it, this is more of a taste thing. If you're not a fan of electronic music, dubstep music, whatever it is, you're not probably going to like electronic core music. Number four is going to be Falling in Reverse, Sleeping with Sirens, as well as Pierce the Veil. So these all three kind of fall into the same category of that uh, singing with like whiny type of sounding singers, sometimes higher pitched, that are hardcore, metalcore, and post-hardcore-ish bands, mostly post-hardcore, that have uh, similar vocal styles. And I gotta say, I mean, uh, Ronnie from Falling in Reverse and uh, Kellen Quinn, is that his name? I mean, they, I, I don't mind these vocalists. I think that they're unique. I think that they add a cool effect. And a lot of these kind of bring back emo lyrics type of thing. They, it's, they're part of the emo revival. But they're kind of older bands. So when I say emo revival, I should say they're still kind of keeping it alive with their material and... Overall, I just enjoy the bands, and I understand why they get hate. They get hate because of the vocals, because of the lyrics, because of that emo feel. But emo in general has gotten a lot of bad rep over the years, and that's understandable. It's kind of like the whole electronic or debate. I can see where they're coming from, and it makes sense because uh, so, some genres just aren't for everyone. Moving on from there, number three is going to be Opeth. So, Opeth gets hate for a couple different reasons. Number one, they're death metal. That, that's, that's something that gets you hate anyway. But the main thing is that they have changed their sound over time. They've added some more clean lyrics in. They've done some more folkish type sounding stuff. They've blended their uh, death metal with melodic death metal. And over time, they've evolved and changed their sound. And for me, I think that's cool. Obviously, they have magnum opuses that are in their previous... Uh, like years previous albums, but their newer albums are nothing to scoff at. They're still good albums. Uh, I believe one one album that I haven't listened to in a very long time is called like Watershed or something. It's something Shed, I believe. And it uh, I, I really liked that album back when I used to listen to it. But Opeth is a band that their whole discography is pretty good, and you can't really balk them. You can't really say that they're not influential. And overall, I understand the hate they get, but personally for me, I don't buy into it. Number two... These are some two, the two bands that are going to be number two and number one are big hitters. Number two is going to be Asking Alexandria. Where do I start with the hate that they've gotten? They can do no right. They have the whole emo thing and the metalcore thing with some electronic war in their earlier stuff. Uh, these kind of screechy emo, screamo lyrics with uh, emotional lyricism, sometimes a bit kind of cringy uh, lyricism. And then they moved into a different direction where people said they weren't as heavy as they used to be. So they got their old fans bad on their side. And then Danny left. They brought in Dennis. People, A lot of people didn't like Dennis. And then they brought back Danny. Uh, people were happy about that. And then their self-titled album was softer. And they didn't like that. So 
this band can do no right. Uh, I, I really like Asking Alexandria. I own most of their albums, and I think that they're a good band. And um, I like all of their discography. I mean, I I don't really like The Black, as you saw in the Disappointing Albums video, if you watch that. Uh, there, I just, I'm not a big fan of that. But at the same time, I could understand why people would like it, even though uh, I don't like it. And Asking Alexandria to me is a classic metalcore band. It's one I go back to a lot, and I really enjoy them. Number one. Hmm, I wonder what it's going to be. Let's see. What band have I worn t-shirts from? What band do I have a gigantic poster of over my desk? What band do I own almost all of the physical discography for? One sec. Oh, excuse me. Um... It's number one's Bring Me the Horizon. Uh, Bring Me the Horizon, it's like from the start they had a horde of fans and a horde of enemies straight from the get go when they did This is What the Edge of Your Seat Was Made For and Count Your Blessings. And it's because they were Deathcore. They were Deathcore when Deathcore was newish, but there were still people that didn't like it. And they have just changed their style so many times. A lot of people don't like how, once again, they have that kind of emo type of feel to them, especially now, that screamo feel. They think that it's mundane and generic. The lyricism's bad. But some people think that they've matured on Sempaternal, and that's the spirit. But there's a lot of people who say that they've sold out, that they're going pop. Ollie has even said that Oliver Sykes, the lead singer, has also said that they're probably going to go more pop on their new album. And it just kind of comes down to preference and being able to accept change uh bring me the horizon is it, it they vie for my favorite band position regularly and uh era's pretty 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 up there pink floyd and era probably are still gonna be number one and two but uh bring me the horizon they get they get up there sometimes and overall i understand why they get hate i understand that the image isn't the best i understand that there's a lot of people who don't like their lyrics just their overall motif uh, some aren't just into their style of metalcore and deathcore, and uh, I really love Bring Me the Horizon. I've loved them since I first heard That's the Spirit back when it came out, and overall, I just love this band to death, and um, there's not really much more I can say. Is I, For all of these bands, I know why they get hate. I understand why they get hate, but these are bands that I personally really love, really enjoy, and nothing's going to change that. So, anyways, guys, my name is Jay Morse Review Guy. I'll see you tomorrow for that huge video. I hope you guys are as excited for it as I am. I'm, I'm going to leave it a surprise. I'm not going to tell anyone about it, but it's going to be a big one. So, moving on from there, I'll talk to you next time. This has been Jay Morse Review Guy, and I'm signing off saying farewell. Roll the credits. Oh, no. What's your mama going to say when I tell you that I broke no more? Lost my mind and I lost my best friend